Hello everyone, my name is Fabulous Fish, and welcome to this final epilogue video where I'll be going over a few other loose ends in Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. First off is the small cutscene that's available in the first level. A lot of players, especially those who already know what they're doing in the game, often skip this one due to the alternate path available to get past the gate while approaching Raleigh's base. If you instead go the normal way, the intended way I guess, you get this brief cutscene explaining to you how the damage system works as well as how checkpoints work. To acute combustion. You done whining? Let's go. I'm just trying to keep you alive, partner. Fortunately for you, I launched these signal repeaters throughout Raleigh's fortress. Get close to one, and I can checkpoint your progress. Nice. Additionally, if you get spotted by the searchlight near the end of the level, a gate will appear until you smash the alarm, preventing you from progressing any further. If you perform a couple small but tricky jumps to bypass the wheel in the beginning of the fire down below level, then you will instead receive the cutscene that explains to you how the wheel works when you encounter the first wheel in the level, meaning that the developers actually compensated for you bypassing the entrance the normal way. Something good might happen if I can get the wheel to spin fast enough. Isn't that what I just said? I'm not entirely sure what happened here. However, while I was making thumbnails for the series, I accidentally triggered this glitch in Panda King's level, the unseen foe. As you can see, Sly doesn't quite align himself with the rope he's supposed to slide down, and instead of reaching the end and getting off like normal, he just continues on sliding for eternity. The Japanese version of this game actually features a lyrical theme to promote the game, known as Blackjack. Right here, playing is a small excerpt from this theme. If you'd like to listen to the whole thing, feel free to click the eye notification icon in the upper right hand corner. And finally, the Japanese version of this game features a fully animated ending cutscene, similar to the fully animated intro cutscene that you can unlock in the NTSC version for completing the main story. This alternative ending is actually unlockable in the PAL version of this game. I believe the requirements are for 100% of the game, similar to the making of video. Unfortunately, in the NTSC version, there's no way to ever access this cutscene. まあ、ね。俺たちはまた追われる側と追う側に逆戻りってわけだ。と思ったら、彼女本気であの約束を守ろうとしているらしい。俺に10秒の猶予をくれるみたいだ。8、7、6、5、4。
三、二、一、ゼロ。うん。あんの野郎。いや正直ちょっともったいないとも思ったんだけどさ。でもな。またカルマリータとは近いうちに会えそうな気がするんだ。And with that, I believe that's all there is to show off in Sly Cooper and Thievius Harkunas. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you all in the next series. Thank you all for watching.